Indians were the largest immigrant group to settle in Wisconsin in the 19th century, and when they arrived, they brought their traditions with them, including a love of beer. Over the last decade, beer gardens have once again become popular gathering spots in Milwaukee, a comeback unlike anything we've seen since before Prohibition. This morning, Rose Schmidt explores that complicated and at times controversial history through the help of a burgeoning beer historian. You see it all around you every day. It's become so ingrained in Milwaukee that you may not even notice it. In the buildings and the names of things, um, the Paps Theater, right? Um, these, these things are all tied to the larger marketing efforts of breweries. The signs you pass, each reminding us why they call it the Brew City. Milwaukee and beer have been synonymous for a long time. You may not think about how it came to be this way, but John Harry does. I really enjoy beer for the community that it brings. Um, it's a social beverage. It always has been a social beverage. After spending 10 years as a radio DJ, he went back to school. He just graduated from UWM with his master's in history, choosing a rather unlikely specialty. I said, well, I love like beer. And they're like, that is great. Go with it. He now works for the Milwaukee County Historical Society. He's also writing a book about the history of the city's beer scene. You can talk about it in discussions with race. You can just talk about it in discussions about labor and especially in Milwaukee. We asked John to walk us through a very specific area of this history. Milwaukee's beer gardens. Beer gardens are kind of a European and specifically German invention as far as having an outdoor gathering space to gather with friends, family, colleagues. A place to let loose not unlike our modern coffee shops. So the Germans have this concept called Gemütlichkeit, which loosely translates into like comfortability and good living. If you go over to Munich, that's what you experience is that Gemütlichkeit of the beer gardens and the beer halls. That concept is on full display in beer gardens across Milwaukee, especially the one at Esterbrook Park. The normal idea of this sort of seating is that it's communal seating. If there was an open seat next to me at a table, you'd be more than welcome to join. Hans Weisgerber III knows this better than anyone. He's the reason the beer garden is here. This was the first uh, public beer garden in a public park since Prohibition in America. And then it was, of course, the first park beer garden in Milwaukee. But to understand this, we have to go back more than a century. German immigrants took their love of beer gardens to the New World some of them migrating to Milwaukee. Milwaukee throughout uh, the late 19th century had at least 11 beer gardens at one time. Uh, for a city that wasn't as big as it was today, that was, that's quite a bit. The oldest parks in the Milwaukee County Park System began as beer gardens. Every major brewery in town had one at some point. The same names you see around today. One of the first beer gardens was actually at Miller Brewing Company, but Blatt's had a park with a beer garden in it. Schlitz had a park with a beer garden in it. But Prohibition put a stop to all of that, and breweries pivoted to making other products. Paps Park closed in 1920, and that was the last one to be open. John notes that feeling has been created in other ways over the years. For Summerfest, I mean, you know, which is kind of a giant beer garden. But it wasn't until the last 10 years that Milwaukee had a resurgence, starting with Estabrook. So 16 years ago, I started pitching this to the county and I was told it would never be possible. Hans finally got the green light and opened the space in 2012 as a public-private partnership with the county. It is modeled after a traditional Bavarian Munich beer garden. And every day he gets to operate the garden he dreamed of creating. My father and grandparents came here from Germany. My father was 14 when he came here and didn't speak any English. I'm a child of immigrants and, you know, have truly uh, had the benefit of the American dream. Historically, beer gardens provided green spaces and getaways as Milwaukee became more industrialized. That's the same feeling Hans captures today, both at the old German beer hall downtown and at Estabrook. On a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, there can be anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 people here. But he's most proud to emulate that German spirit and see others emulating it. People being able to come together no matter what your walk of life, your background, and just sit down at a table as strangers and become friends. That's, that's how we grow our community. That's how we find unity. And through these names, the city made its name. I mean, obviously Milwaukee's never had a problem finding ways and places to get together and, and share a beer over the years. With plans to continue doing so for many years and beers to come. Really, that is really the Bavarian spirit and it in large parts, anyone who grew up in Milwaukee knows that that's the Milwaukee spirit.